Hey Magic fans, welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. Spoiler season is over. We did a list review. Now let's get on to some big news and some actual EV or value videos that you guys seem to like. So let's talk about eBay today. So eBay has come out with a new thing. I've been looking into it. I haven't used it yet, but here's what it is, boys and girls. Before we get started, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, comments down below, feeds the YouTube algorithm. Any help to support the channel will be appreciated as we soar for 1,000 subscribers. So, with all that said, if you want to support the channel, also link to my eBay store is in the description. Feel free to hit me up to help support the channel if you've already subscribed and can't find anybody else to get on there and hit that like, subscribe button. So, without further ado, eBay has announced a brand new policy where anything $750 or higher when it comes to cards, collectible, trading, whatever, will be verified by eBay with an authenticity guarantee. You can see it right here. Sell securely with authenticity guarantee. Professional authenticators, verified returns, and at no cost for people who sell on eBay. So let's walk through real quick what this is, and then we can talk about the kind of repercussions this can have inside the market, because I think it's some big ones. So come down here he says ebay has your back what it talks about is your car is authenticated by a third-party professional authenticator it is now available for upgrading cards 750 plus with the exception of a patch or autograph card check out the faq we won't go into all that but if you want to know what a patch or uh, autograph card means autograph cards don't be considered damaged cards or something like that because uh, they don't know if the uh, if the autograph is authentic so it may not help there and patch or things like the the baseball basketball series have been doing patch cards where a piece of uniform or patch or something like that a piece of wood from the stadium whatever is actually put in the car it's really weird kind of cool though but those things they won't authenticate but things like Yu-Gi-Oh cards magic baseball basketball you name it they will authenticate that it is real before it actually gets sent so what happens next is uh, if you allow returns the buyer wishes to return the card you will be uh, it will be reinspected by authenticators if you don't accept returns that sale is final so if you accept returns and someone tries to send the card back to you they can't send you back a fake which apparently must have been a thing what you think about it hey this card is fake they send you a fake they keep the real one so forth and so on and all this comes at no cost to you if you run an eBay store. So this is really sweet. So now let's get into the nitty gritty of how it works. So uh, step one here, you list your eligible card and a check mark for authenticity guarantee will appear. You can see here there's a little check mark right there. Cards over six, five thousand dollars. Now once the buyer purchases your card, you'll ship it to the authenticator to be verified and authenticated. Okay, step three, the card will go through a multi-point inspection before receiving a tamper-proof sticker sealing the protective packaging over the card and confirming authenticity. Next, your item will be delivered safely to the buyer via discreet and secure tracking shipping. All cards at this time will have signature required delivery, so it means they also have to pick the card up themselves. Pretty sweet. So as we scroll down here, you can see the authentic, uh, authenticate without a doubt, uh, initial verification. Once your card is received, the authenticator checks it. If it matches the listing description, if it does not match, the card will be sent back to you. When listing a card, check out our condition guidelines to make sure that you have, you call out all key attributes. Multi-point inspection, our professional authenticates, checks numerous inspection points, including corners, edges, conditions, and surface. Please note that there is no grade evaluation in the process. So they're not grading cards, guys. They're just inspecting them to make sure they're real and they match the listing. Authenticity guarantee ensures that you are protected against fraudulent returns if your card passes inspection. Once again, they can't send you back a fake just because they said the one that they got was fake when they actually got a real one. The sticker, once verified as authentic, your card receives a tamper roof sticker and seals for protective packaging over the card, adding an extra layer of security. If you allow returns on your card to be returned, the authenticator will verify that the sticker is intact before proceeding further. So, this is pretty sweet, guys. And there's a little video here on eBay if you want to go check it out. It'll actually show you what the card looks like with the sticker, so forth and so on, and what have you. So what does this mean 
as a multi-point inspection for the market. So let's really think about this, guys. Right now, we all know that counterfeit cars is a serious thing in the market. eBay's bad for it. Everybody's bad for it. A, a TCG, it doesn't matter, right? No matter who you order from, if you order from some vendor, there's always a chance you're getting a fake card. And it could be bad, especially with when you're spending lots of money on those cards. So how do we combat that? Well, a lot of us have got really good at notifying and identifying cards that are fake before we even try to buy. Uh, plus, also knowing if something is listed and it sounds too good to be true that it probably is, have protected a lot of us. But every now and then, you get, you just, it's, it's, it's the price is right. It's hard to tell, so you end up with a fake. So what ends up happening, guys, is places like TCG. Um, I think Macari's a new one. Uh, Channel Fireball now does it too, where they sell cards for you. Now, they don't have this service. So what does that mean? Well, normally when you want to buy one of those high-priced cards, you go somewhere like TCG Player Store, you know, Star City Games, Channel Fireball. You go to a big retail store because you know you're going to pay an extra premium, but you know your card is real. And that's why you pay that premium. Now, with these guys authenticating cards, as long as they don't botch it, this could really take away that premium from those stores and make card prices go down. Now, that down swing will only be for a little bit because once everybody realizes that uh, these cards are easy to get and they're not faked and they've been checked, the prices will go back up eventually. But what it also does is this is going to drive the card market away from places like TCG Player and all the other places where you order from stores on there and they don't have this feature. If you order a card that's you know plus $750 or even $50 on, on TCG Player, they never see the card. They're just assuming that the seller sends you the right card and they try to work it out in the end and blah, 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 blah. Um, and that, along with eBay for a long time, has been plagued with all kinds of scams and buyer beware, seller beware, fraud things that I'm not even going to go into them. I mean, just basically, you know, oh, it didn't show up. Ha, ha, ha. Now I need my refund. You know, I've ran into it all the time in my store. Uh, there's, there's tons of things out there. There's no need to get into all that in the video. But this can really make eBay a, a outstanding place to sell cards. Because here's another thing, guys. Not only do people go to these stores and pay this premium to know they're getting the right card, People who sell these high price cards won't sell on eBay or TCG Player or any of that stuff because they know they're probably going to get scammed out of their money. So they go to places, you know, like people on the internet, big stores, and they sell them on buy lists at an extreme discount uh, just to make sure they're not getting scammed. They get their money and everything's going to be good. With this protecting those purchases, now there won't be a need to go to those stores to sell on those buy lists. So not only do it lower their premium, you know, and the card prices may go down to begin with, the card price sell will go up because people won't go to the buy list anymore, which means the buy list goes up, which means the sell price goes up. So it will dip for a minute, but it will go back up, and it's really going to take away and open up a whole new world of I can sell my high price cards without worry, without being scammed. And it says right here, they've got your back. You know, this is like an insurance policy because I'm pretty sure if you get your car back and it's not right, you're going to get your money back. I mean, there's more things to look into it. And as this develops, we're really going to have to look into how this is going to affect the market. But I think this is a good thing. And it's a free service. I really think in the long run, this is something that anybody who wants to sell cards, eBay, TCG player, you name it, they need a service like this if they want to really collect on those high dollar high end market cards and i'm not just talking about magic and pokemon like we you know Yu Gi Oh, like they have examples here baseball cards basketball cards there's a lot of high price cards out there especially now uh that need these kind of services i think this is the first company to take that step i think it's an important step and i think it's a step that a lot of other places are going to have to mirror or they're going to lose a lot of business to ebay because of this i mean already you know, once the word gets out on this, guys, people are going to start just selling all kinds of cards on eBay for that are $750 plus because they know they're protected. And not only that, now people will buy on eBay because they know they're protected too because people are going to verify the card is not fake. 
So now even I, as a buyer, you know, I don't like buying expensive cars on eBay because I've been burned several times and had to send them back because they're fake and so forth and so on. This gives me a great sense of security as a buyer to give this a shot now. Also, a better sense of security since I'm a seller that when I'm ready to sell my old cards or whatever, that I can sell them and get my money and have a backup plan so that I can get refunded so I don't lose my money like the, the scams that run rampant all over the internet. This is big, guys. I think this is really big. I think it's great for the market. It's great for card collecting or collectibles in general. Uh, I expect to see this maybe even span out to other collectibles like maybe video games and stuff like that, comic books that have PSA markings on them and stuff, for them to check, are they really PSA graded? Is it a fake PSA? So forth and so on. Like th This is the beginning of a great thing to ensure collectible value. And what this really means in the long run, guys, the collectible market is now here to stay. It's just as good as the stock market, if not better, because most things are almost guaranteed to go up for the most part. Um, but they also can go down like... But I think this is the beginning of what's going to cement the collectible world as a place to park money as part of your portfolio for retirement, investing, you name it, and just collecting in general all the things that you love and not getting ripped off. So I think it's great. I'm all for it. I can't wait to get a chance to try this out. Put some comments down below if you've done this already or if you've already bought a card or once you do buy a card, come back, leave a comment. How was your process? How did it work? Was there any issues? Let's talk about it. Let's keep an eye on this, guys. I think this is the wave of the future and everybody's going to start doing it. So with that said, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you next time. Until then, be kind. And remember, I hope to see you across from the game table.